This is a video that I originally was not going to do because I thought it was kind of just pointless and really just kind of, I don't know how to say it, just not really that important. But as I started to research it more, I feel like I just wanted to make a comment about all of this. The new movie by Clint Eastwood that Clint Eastwood's directing and Bradley Cooper is starring as uh, Chris Kyle, the American sniper. He's a former, he's dead now. He was a SEAL who had the most um, sniper kills ever. Um, first of all, the fact that we are glorifying murderers in these wars of conquest and imperialism is absolutely unfucking believable. But it happens all the time. And Kyle is a perfect example of this new military, this this uh, they they convince you that they're doing good they try to convince you they're doing good but in fact they are the murderers and they are the ones perpetuating the evils and the harms and the death and the destruction are not only of the peoples of the world but the environment um but kyle is kind of a chris kyle is kind of a special case because not only has this movie come out and his book american sniper was a well successful book very successful book but he also was involved in a lawsuit against uh, G uh, Jesse Ventura. Jesse, the body Ventura, actually sued Chris Kyle for defamation and won $1.8 million uh, posthumously, I guess you could say, after Chris was dead. Chris Long or Chris Kyle was dead. Um, that is an interesting thing, that you have an American sniper who comes... And I saw the interview, you can watch it for yourself on YouTube, on Fox. He's making it up, and he lies. And this was after his book had come out. He had had wild success. Why would he lie about Jesse Ventura? What good would that do him? And he never recanted. He never said that it didn't happen. He never tried to apologize to Jesse Ventura. And he actually lost. Um, which, it, it was just a bizarre case. It didn't make any sense to me. It still doesn't. Maybe somebody can tell me. But anyway, so after that, um, Chris Kyle was uh, killed taking a soldier that had PTSD to a gun range. Now, one of the main causes of PTSD, and I know because I have friends who have been in the military and have PTSD, is gunshots. The backfiring of cars, anything loud, explosives and crowds. And it's funny that he would go there and then that was where he was killed. Um, a lot of people, there is a conspiracy theory that Chris Kyle faked his own death to run covertly a black, black operations. Um, he was a founder of the, the group that is still around, the um, private military, I guess you could call him, Kraft. Um, he's still um, part of this kind of mythology about why America's... Oh, and the military, the Navy, the new Navy recruiting um, commercials, I don't know if anyone has seen them, um, are, they're going to have to go through us before they get to you. And then they have a, a little kid and a mom in the, you know, and then surrounded by soldiers and people and logistics. It's complete manipulation and brainwashing and it's new speak. It's just completely insane. Um, but it's what Americans, you know, we're just so brainwashed in this country. We don't even... We just take it for granted that, um, you know, oh, well, they, you know, it's on television and most of us in the conspiracy community know everything on TV is a fucking lie. Um, and but we're not the majority and the majority still sees this and thinks Chris Kyle was a hero and he was and he, I think he was anything but a hero. I don't think it's heroic killing people from killing people, period. But you're a hitman for, you know, Coca-Cola and, and British Petroleum and the Rockefeller family and the Rothschild family and and the owners of our world, the owners who run the military, that's who you're serving. And if the conspiracy theories are right that Kyle faked his own death to go into black ops, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because he was so high profile. But also his death and life don't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, it, it was like they built this guy up. They put him as a maybe maybe that's the point. They put him up as this ideal soldier, sniper slash, you know, husband slash man. Um, he was he was good looking. He looked like he worked out a lot. Um, he was well spoken, and uh, his story becomes tragic. But the Jesse Ventura thing in the middle of all between him coming, you know, him releasing American Sniper, and the um, supposed event that took place with Jesse Ventura uh, is bizarre. Uh, in a bar, they were, and supposedly they were at a, na a fellow Navy SEALs funeral. Um, it, none of it makes any sense, and it just seems so bizarre that, and, and the case, Jesse Ventura didn't um, take stop the case when Chris Kyle died, he just kept going forward with it, which shocked me a little bit, he could have dropped the case, but he said, he claimed that his attorneys told him not to, and it was too far down the process, and I, you know, that to me is interesting, I don't know if he'll ever collect on the 1.8 million, um, he may just, I, I don't know, but I find it funny, it's like, 
if you know anything about Navy SEALs or if you, you know, see the stuff that I've read anyway, they usually stick together pretty closely. And Jesse Ventura was an old Navy SEAL and so was Chris Kyle. And I don't know what happened there. And if anyone has a better explanation to me, please let me know. But I just wanted to say that it's disgraceful that Hollywood keeps promoting these murderers. And, you know, military films are completely um, abhorrent to me. I just think they're awful. Because they don't represent what real horrors of war. It's like in the Vietnam thing in the Middle 80s with Platoon and all of those movies we would see. It was the tortured American soldier ripped away from his home and sent to a foreign land and has cycle. No, you are from the imperialistic country invading another smaller country that has no air force, no navy, really no organized military. It's a joke. And as I've said before, it's, it's now in the Middle East instead of Southeast Asia. It's the Jetsons versus the Flintstones. And we're the, or excuse me, G.I. Joe versus the Flintstones. Um, and we are fucking G.I. Joe. Um, thanks for listening to this. And again, don't waste your time with movies like American Sniper, and especially with that racist piece of shit, Clint Eastwood. And I'm going to do a video about Clint Eastwood on his own because he's, he's an old school piece of shit. Uh, thanks for listening. You guys have a great night.